channel is budget bug out, you kind of need to spring for the bug out knife. And that is what this knife is named from Benchmade. It is extremely lightweight at one point, um, let me pull it up, eight ounces, I believe. And the blade length is 3.24 inches long, um, making it great for everyday carry. Um, and I'll talk about how useful this would be on a bug out and what that would mean um, here in the upcoming video. Um, but if you are interested in purchasing this knife, it is basically selling out everywhere. But I'll leave links where you can get this on Amazon.com. And any, uh, any of y'all who click on those links, um, that will actually help support this channel. So I can buy more knives like the bug out knife um, and, uh, and other items that I review on a regular basis. Y'all probably have, have kind of figured out by now that a lot of my reviews are um, things that I purchased myself. Um, I, 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 more and more, these uh, gear reviewers are getting uh, paid by the company uh, of something that they're reviewing. You guys can kind of um, probably see that a little bit as well. These, uh, these disclaimers people are including at the beginning of their videos. Um, but let's move on from that and talk about this awesome little knife here and uh, I'll talk about things I like about it as well as things that um, not this, that I dislike it but just things to be aware of uh, so first and foremost whenever I opened this up and got it out of the package from Benchmade um, I, I was I almost gasped how light this was also one of the first things I noticed was how small it was so if you're used to a griptilian knife um, this is the full size right here. Here's the uh, the mini grip in the G10 uh, version. Um, you kind of notice that this is closer probably in size and shape to uh, the mini grip than it is the, the full size or the Benchmade Freak that also came out this year. Let me put this right between the two. Um, but yeah, this is obviously going to be a lot lighter weight, um, but I will say that Something that I really like about the Griptilian, it, as you guys probably know at this point, is how much it fills the palms. And I um, also like that a lot about the Benchmade Freak. Also, like I said, brand new from Benchmade. Benchmade Freak um, has uh, S30V steel, and it's, it's around the same price, which is over $100 same price as this guy so it's around 119 20 ish dollars um and so just kind of be aware of that this is the bug out knife this is not the budget bug out knife and uh maybe i'll work with the company see if they can make a budget bug out knife i don't know but uh <laughs> as you can see here i'll just start talking about some of the things i like about it i like i like the pocket clip um it would be kind of cool if it was a, a longer pocket clip. I just kind of noticed that it really is sort of a shorter knife, uh, a shorter clip, I should say. Um, so I do find that interesting. However, um, because of that, here's the, uh, the Spyderco Delica. Um, you can see the pocket clip on that. But it is smaller, but I haven't found, like I said, I just got that, got this this week, but I haven't found that this, um, the size of this has hurt um, in any ways or you know affected me negatively um, but you can move this to either side and because it's an access lock and uh, it's the way that you disengage this uh, the lock up on this knife still got to break it in a little bit um, but it doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed you can move that pocket clip so you can keep this in your in your right pocket or you can keep this in your left pocket and uh, it doesn't really matter which hand you use to disengage they, that access lock. Um, I already talked about the, the blade steel. This is S30V, which is a super steel. It does not need to be uh, sharpened very often, and it takes an edge pretty well. Um, so kind of the best of both worlds. That's what is running this, the cost up on this knife. Um, for those of you who love lanyard holes, and yeah, if you did put this in a bug out bag, if you put a lanyard around here, um, I don't really have a knife that has a lanyard on me within reach. But uh, you can see compared to the similarly priced Spyderco 
paramilitary too. Um, these are both good knives to put a, uh, a lanyard on. Let's see a little bit of a, of a size comparison. Maybe I should zoom out for this. Uh, there we go. There it is compared to the uh, paramilitary too, which is kind of a, a full size knife for sure. Um, another thing I noticed about the about this knife is the grip is similar to the Griptilian and uh, the handle material also feels I don't want to say cheap but just kind of keep in mind that yes this flexes but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a bad knife or not a strong design um, flexibility uh, it can keep something from cracking and um, the, the type of handles and the type of plastics that they use on knives these, these days, knives these days, um, are pretty good. You, um, as long as you're not abusing the knife, like taking this out to a wood, and out to the woods, and just going crazy with hammering this into a tree stumps or something like that, like some of the crazy things you see on YouTube. You can also see the anodization of uh, the thumb studs. Is that, is that scratching already? Okay, well, something to kind of keep in mind. That might not, uh, that might experience a little bit of wear and tear, so I'm glad that is happening. You're able to, to see that. Um, but you also have the anodized spacers in the, uh, in the back here. But it's also going to be, because of the way this is designed, it's going to be easy to clean and maintain this as well. There's not a lot of moving parts. There's really only this access lock, which uh, is sticking at the moment. I mean, it's not sticking, sticking, but you, you can't can't open it and really swing it closed like you can with some of the other knives that I have, uh, which I can do with, with ease from some of these other Benchmade knives. Also, some of it is due to the uh, the weight of the blade um, and I'll talk about that here in a second how the uh, the balance is very much you know kind of forward more so than a lot of the other pocket clips or pocket knives rather that I have um, I like the grind on this I like how high that grind is um, I like that um, the swedge on this you taking off a little bit more steel where you don't need it Try to zoom in on this a little bit, um, but yeah, this blade seems to be pretty um, well thought out, and it works well and for everyday carry types of tasks. Um, and then I already talked about the the handle material, uh, the pocket clip, the and the lanyard. Um, so my overall thoughts on this knife is that I do wish it was a little bit more budget friendly. And like I said, in their defense, it's not known as the budget bug out. <laughs> um, but, you know, for what you're paying, uh, you're getting excellent blade steel. You're getting great construction. And of course, like I said, this is, there's no, no weight to this knife whatsoever. So if you're going to put this in a, in a bug out bag, and a bug out bag is not a bag that you take out to the woods as much as it is something that you're going to evacuate with. Um, but that's this is going to be... Um, not weighing you down to say the least in fact i might start carrying this on me and uh you know everyday carry in different pockets for my uniform or whatnot um as a secondary or backup blade um because i like having uh, i like having two knives on me one so that i can have for me and then another maybe more uh maybe a more budget friendly knife like this uh 29 dollar knife from ontario I just give this to a friend, you know, say, have out, you know, go do whatever it is that you're asking for a knife for. And I keep this on my, on my person, you know, because sometimes they ask, my friends ask me to, uh, knives to pry things off the walls and stuff like that. So you don't want to loan out a knife like this for something like that. But very lightweight, like I said, like I keep saying, <laughs> um, I don't, I don't, wouldn't say this is a survival knife by any means. And... Honestly, I think they would have been better with a different name because I mean it's it's blue. It doesn't really stand out. Uh, you know, if I could see something if it was orange, be calling that the bug out knife. Like, um, let's see here. If 
behind me this um, knife from Spyderco. This could be more of a bug out knife because you got a glass breaker on it and you have a, a whistle. I didn't blow it very hard, but in here. So this is more of a bug out knife, seatbelt cutter, than something like this. <laughs> so I think they could have just called this the everyday carry or the EDC knife, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And like I said, I'll be leaving links for where you can find this in the description box. Um, but just be careful. Uh, if you are going to buy this knife, uh, just know that it's sold out a lot of different places, uh, partially because of the name. <laughs> so maybe this is well marketed by Benchmade. Y'all stay safe out there and remember, it pays to be repaired. God bless. Lightweight, affordable award-winning and yes controversial